Today is Thursday, March 7, 2024, 8.42 a.m. Eastern. You see a number of levels that have been identified to trade against in the E-minis. The spiders have climbed a little higher. They are at 5.12.14 currently. They've been above 5.12 for a while in the pre-market. And it's unlikely that the spiders will hit very many of these levels unless they fall drastically. Anything can happen. Uh, but I'm just going to show you kind of where they are in the big picture. So just not to lose sight of where they're where they're at in the big picture, this is a weekly chart. And it's pretty clear the bulls have been in charge for quite a while. And take a look at this. This is a uh, chart of the daily, daily chart. These are daily candles here. And just eyeballing this thing in the middle, well, toward the beginning, second week of January. So they started establishing this trend. I mean, they've been kind of bouncing between this. This is just a rough, you know, I've just put some trend lines on here to kind of show where they've been constrained for quite a while now, January 10, I think. So you can kind of make the case that they started this. So um, they're in the middle of this, 5, 12, 40 currently in the pre-market. So they're, they're toward the bottom, middle of this area. Doesn't guarantee they're going to bounce from the bottom of this or bounce at the top of this, but that's where they have been. So anywhere in the middle of this, uh, there's a bunch of small scalp trades at the levels that we have identified and they're toward the top of the levels for today just to give you a picture a big picture of where they're at back to the full day so per usual we will circle back around and look at this chart and any trades taken in the e-minis after the market closes this afternoon it's after 7 30 the market's closed and what you're looking at are the top two levels of all the levels that we had on the chart this morning the spiders only hit these two the green line is a reference point of the base hit profit target from the short trade at 5.13.35. That's the first trade. I just want to explain a few things here. When that trade was triggered, when the spiders were up at 5.13.35, they came down pretty quickly within a point, within a distance of the profit target that would constitute a near miss if they went back to the entry point within a couple minutes, and they did. That was clue number one. I should have jumped out of the trade. I had something else on my mind, which I'll explain in a minute. It came down again even closer, I think eight cents or so, from the the uh, profit objective went back if but went back two minutes later to the entry point to the uh, zero line and then within five cents and back up and so that was three clues and you'll see the the similar price action in the e minis I held on in fact you even see me change my my profit buyback from four contracts to three because I just pictured them filling this, getting below this area, and then falling. I was going to trail the other one contract down for a while until the next level. Uh, it didn't happen. The lesson is that the market can always go higher, a lot higher than you think they will. And they can go a lot lower than you think they will. In this case, they decided to bust through, build, a, build up enough energy to go higher. And we'll talk about these other trades. Uh, well, I'll talk about it here because I had to jump out around 11 o'clock. So I wasn't in this last trade here. This first attempt at 5.14.95 would have been a near miss if because they came back they came up within 10 cents of this level and if they had pulled back and then hit it pretty closely or hit hit it far sorry what I'm trying to explain is if they had pulled back 40 cents or more which they did and then immediately come back up to the level that gives me reason to second guess this trade um but enough time had elapsed between this first attempt and when they came back that is with is worth taking this for a recycle and I'll just show you that the high of this was one penny above the the level, predetermined level, and that would have triggered a trade for a pretty good short trade at that point. So this day should have been, following the rules, a wash and a simple base hit here. But you'll watch me lose a chunk of money because I ignored this and wrote it up and reversed. But let's watch the recording right now. So the clock is running. Let me just make this a little bigger here. 4.945, and I had orders in. I thought I was going to go down to 5.12.02. I was going to buy there. It came up short, pulled up, and never went back to that. So that was off the table. Revised that order to put a short, uh, an activation to go short at 5.13.35. And that's the one I want you to look at. So let me just speed this up a little bit, scrub forward. So here you see the four contracts to go short at the level, roughly the same level of the 5.13 and 35 and the spiders. And when they triggered the trade, at that point, I wanted to go ahead and buy all four contracts back, four points in the ES. So you'll look at my clues here that I should have jumped out. The first one was pretty quickly, pretty quick. It came down within 10 cents, point or so in the E-minis, and come back up to the entry point there. 
back at the uh, flat line. Did it again, got even closer. That was clue number two. Overhead and somewhere along the line, you'll see me adjust the buy back to three. I still had some false hope at this point. So there they came really close, pulled back up, and I'm still in the trade. And that was just kind of a silly thing to do. So I rode this thing up out of the money. You'll see it get above the fumble threshold. So there was several clues there that I should have jumped out of this trade, but they got up above the fumble threshold. They had some energy they were building, started to establish it here once they started closing above it. And so I'm short four contracts. And then when the fumble signal materialized, I reversed. So you'll see that happen when the short four goes to a long four at a loss of around $1,800 at this point. And then the base hit was pulled out on the long position on the reversal. So I watched $800 off of that loss. Speed this up a little bit so you can see this play out. And that was that. So they got up to 5, 14, 95, pretty close and pulled back. And I had to leave anyway before 11 o'clock. So I had the green line as a reference point of where the profit target would be. And they came low and kept continued to close low and just went lower. So for the time being, I consider that level off the table unless they came back to it within a certain amount of time. And they did, but I wasn't at my computer at the time. Let's take a look at the full day in the one minute chart just to go over this one more time. So maybe I didn't mention this before, but I made this level dash because because of this, this activity and this action, the fact that I didn't get the base hit when they first came first uh, hit this level, react to this level, I was going to treat it as a recycle if they ever came back to it later in the day. They never did, but that's why I just kind of had it as a different, different uh, status here at four five fourteen ninety five on the second go around. They went right above it as we think we already looked at that would have triggered the trade. So these two trades um, were really the only ones in the book. And I'll explain that in the tracking log right now. Should have been a wash because of that near miss you saw. Three good clues to jump out of that trade. The next trade was a simple base hit when you finally waited for it to come back up and hit that level for a recycle. It wasn't really a recycle. They just never got to the level until later in the day. But in my case, it was more like a negative thousand dollars. So it is what it is. I just need to pay more attention uh, going forward and follow my own rules. I don't know what I was thinking this morning, but that is what happened. And now I understand that those of you who had these levels from this morning, I've been emailing the levels since March 4th. I'm going to continue to do that until March 18 to those subscribers who have uh, expressed interest in this. So now you, I know you wouldn't exactly know the specific rules of some, like what happened this morning, but I think you've seen enough and I explained it in this video of why you would want to second guess a trade when it starts to give you clues like that. But in any case, you would have had at least one base hit. I'm not sure. I'd like to know if you made any money in the last few days, today or the last few days. And if you uh, are willing to do that, just leave a comment in the comment section to let me know. I would appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, and meanwhile, thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing to this channel. Thanks, and have a great day.